Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about how to use cyclic interrupt organization block to totalize a flow rate. In earlier video, we have made a totalizer function in ladder language. You can watch that video by using the i button. Also, I will add the link in a description box. Here, you can see we have used in last video that clock hertz is 10, means 10 sample in a second. Okay. But if your flow rate changes more than 10 times, like then your total value from that flow rate will not be accurate. You can take more sample, more than 10 sample in a second by using cyclic interrupt organization block. Okay, let's use it. From the add new block, here in organization block, cyclic interrupt block is there. Here. In cyclic interrupt block, here you can see cyclically time in a microsecond and default value is 1 lakh microsecond. 1 lakh microsecond means it is 100 millisecond. 100 millisecond means it is a 10 hertz per second, 10 sample per second. But we want to take more than 10 sample. So you have to use here the time you want to use. Here if you give the 50,000 microsecond means it, it is a 20 hertz, 20 sample per second. If you use 20,000 means it is 100 hertz, 100 sample per second. Okay. Okay, in that empty box, here I will add the totalizer block we have made. It's asking for instantaneous data block because the totalizer function made in FB. Okay, here in a measure, here in measure input, we'll here you can see we have used three operand. One is for motor on, one is for clock cycle, another is for rise trigger. One shot for measure on. Okay, we will use the motor on in here measure on. We will not use clock hertz and one shot because in replacement of this clock hertz and rise trigger, we will use the cyclic interrupt block. Here, we will use the flow and if your flow rate is liter per minute then here your period will be 1 minute. If it is liter per second here it will be 1 second but if it is liter per hour then here it will be hour, 1 hour. So here I will use 1 minute Th means liter per minute. And in cycle, it will be 20 millisecond because we have used the 20,000 microsecond. In reset pin, we will use same reset here. Okay, now. Okay, now download. I will start simulation. Okay, let's monitor. Here you can see the flow rate is 0, measure on also 0. So turn on the motor, ok, there will be some flow. Now I will use 20, so it start calculate, see it start calculate. Here flow rate is 20, I have, here I have used 20 as a constant, but from your process it will not be constant. Okay, in one minute it should be 20. Okay, you can use for check here. I will use a TONR TON accumulation timer, runtime timer. How runtime timer use? You can watch my timer video here. That runtime timer will count when motor is 
one here i will give one hour okay also i will use the same reset here okay now sorry okay now again i will download okay here you can see it's a 26 now it is not counting because in any timer you have to you call the timer or use et you have to give a et tag here here i will use a tag as a run time and data type is time okay in elapsed time it will flow runtime okay now again download okay okay now i'll give a reset here value is zero here i'll make the reset is zero now if i turn on the motor it will start the calculate time as well as the totalizer value okay sorry it is start time but there is no flow here i will give a reset first i will give a flow rate okay 20 now if the reset is now zero it is start counting okay now in a one minute it should be 20. See, in one minute it's 20. So, our totalizer function is okay to use in cyclic interrupt organization block. Okay, thank you.